gene editing, in simple terms, is just the targeted rearrangement of genetic code. All living things um, have a genetic code that controls its development, its movement. We used to think that this genetic code is written in stone, but today we know that it's actually always changing as species are always evolving. Gene editing is a tool that we use to alter a specific part of the genome. And this technology can be used to increase crop production or make crop more resilient to disease and pests as well. Precision of gene editing allows us to perfectly fine tune and tweak uh, the activity of the gene to give us the maximum benefit for food production. So recently in, in the lab we have discovered a unique polymorphism from Iranian wheat that can increase grain length. And we're trying to recreate that with gene editing in UK cultivar. Traditionally, gene editing has been used to improve maybe a plant's productivity or resistance. But now we can also see the development of very interesting new projects which focus more directly, for example, on consumers' health, such as zinc and iron enriched wheat or uh, tomatoes that produce anti-cancerous molecules. So the benefit of gene editing uh, in creating crops that are more resilient to climate change is because it's so efficient. Gene editing is a highly accurate technique that has the potential to increase the speed at which we breed new varieties. So if new genes that increase food production are identified, you can very quickly introduce these into modern varieties without a, an overly lengthy breeding cycle. So it used to take us 15 to 20 years to make a new variety, for example, of wheat. That means that we would need to know today how our climates look in 20 years. But nowadays with gene editing, we can do that in around two or three years. I think the products of gene editing will be very beneficial to the future societies because it will help us to make more productive plants, more resilient plants, and thus reduce the amount of land and chemicals we need to apply in agriculture.